Hello, welcome back to my YouTube channel, Pravin Kumar Bumuseti. Today we'll see one of the interesting SQL entry questions. So what the requirement is that word? So this is my input, it's having ID 125 minus 9404. So requirement is that what, okay, see? So by this one, you should get understand. So it, they'll give input like this and they want to get the output, okay? So requirement is that what? So sum of two numbers should be six or five or 10. See what happened? So one plus two. No, okay, one plus five, it's a six. Okay, same thing, 100 minus 94 says, see what happened, four plus two is six, 100 minus 94 six. So, so they are giving input single table, requirement is that what they want to get, sum of two numbers should be six. Okay, so got the point. So this is one of the questions frequently asking. Okay, but we'll try the same thing, okay. Okay, now I'm creating the table sample. When you're getting in requirement, try to get the table, fill some data and try to work on it. So DML, then DR, select star from, so table. Okay, see the same thing. It's having six records. So requirements that what I want to get, sum of two numbers should be six. Okay, now, so we should go for self-join concept. Okay, see T1, test one, join, test two, T2. Here, see, same table, but T1, T2, these are different table element. Now it lacks us different table. So this is the self-join, okay. But what happened, I'm not giving any joining conditions. Now see what happened. It's giving how many records? It's giving 36 records. It's nothing but six into six, 36. Now requirement is that what I want to do, sum of two numbers should be six. Okay, so I'm putting on t1.id plus t2.id equals to six. It will give see. Output is giving one plus five C, but what happened? See, if I see the same thing, search this value, so 100, 100. So it's the same thing, but it's a shuffling thing. Now, how to rectify the same thing? Now we should go for one more condition and okay, and t1.id greater than t2.id. Okay, we can able to put greater than symbol or you can able to put less than symbol. No issues. Okay, got a point. Now take the same case one more time. Okay, so simple only select star from table. It is projecting all the columns and all the records. Okay, here T1 is the table LS. Same thing, now what happened when you want to get the data from single table, you should go for self join. So table join to is self. Okay, so test two. Now see, there is no joining condition access like cross join. So six, six, the third six records are there. Now requirements that what I want to sum up. So go for condition on T1 dot ID plus T2 dot ID equals to six. Now it's giving correct only, but what happens is same data we're getting is 100 for understanding purpose, I'm putting 100. Now see, so 100 is here, so it's like this. Now what happened, you can go for one more condition, okay. And t1.id greater than t2.id. So that word, so you get only one record. Got the pointer, hope this is clear. Now we can able put the alias, like same thing. Okay, see val1 id. Well, one ID, well, two. Now, see what happened. It shows ambiguous column because now see in ID is there in same table. See, but we should put alias. So, T1 dot ID. Okay, so ambiguous is so T2 dot ID. Okay, hope this is clear. Same thing. Now, go back here one more time. Now, I want to get source somewhere. So, T1 dot ID plus T2 dot ID. I am putting alias. What the point? Does see five four? Okay, so this is the input five plus one six four plus two six. Okay, what the point? Uh, so by using self join and also some filtering console, we can able to get it. Okay, hope this clear. If you like the content, subscribe and share the channel. Thank you for watching.